Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Boria with Chiropractic Consulting with this week's Thought Flash. Um, I'm going to let my son Vito do our intro, so go ahead, Vito. Okay, so as you heard, we were in a small town called Del Gartano last week, but we are actually in a different town called uh, Pescachi. Pescachi. And today we were on a really a fish. Fish was fun, as you can see, the ocean was not really the deer's wings. Doing great. What? Why? Uh, why do we do our thought flash? Why do I like to do a re recording? And, and so what do we talk about? Cause you want um, you have to talk about like keep keep your um facts safe. Uh huh. So you don't want to get subluxation, subluxated. And what's and what's it bad? What so what's a subluxation? And what it means when your spine's out of alignment and it's crooked and the brain can't communicate. Sorry, the brain can communicate with your nervous system and it causes sickness in the dudes. Unbelievable. And um, we want to talk to people about what? What do we talk to them about on our thought flashes? We usually talk to them about books. Books, right. And um, I brought a couple of books with us today, but we're not gonna we're not gonna jump in on that. Yeah. And we talked about with kids and why they need care and why yeah. we educate kids. And and we talked. Go ahead. I'm sorry. The, oh, go ahead. The mom and dad need to protect their kids, and the person that you should go to is a chiropractor. That's right. Absolutely. And right. everyone needs to go to chiropractor. Everybody needs to go for how long? Um, for for your whole life. For your whole life. Exactly right. And it keeps us what? What's it do? It keeps your body healthy. Healthy. It keeps your body healthy. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, kids in the office today, and that's why, careful up there, buddy, and that's why I wanted to, well, there's only like an uh, overhanger about 70 feet, so I just don't want to see it fall. <laughs> that's a good way to get subluxated, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, about kids. So, one of the things you always want to ask people when they call the office is this appointment for you or your entire family. We probably heard that. Some of the clients I talk to, some of the people I talk to across the country, ah, what's the big deal with that? But what you're really trying to do is you're planting a seed, you're setting a tempo, you're setting an agenda, you're making an itinerary, you're letting them know that, hey, this isn't just about them, it's about the entire family. When they walk into the office and they fill out paperwork, you always want to ask them about their childbirth. Were they forceful? Were they breached? Were they induced? Um, were they a twin? Were the, was the mother induced? Were they a large baby? Did the pregnancy progress? Was there trauma? Why? That question is so vital to grow a practice for families and babies and children. Because what it says is, it indicates to them that most likely they've been subluxated since they've been born. And it plants the seed, if not total awareness, that hey, their kids are home that were born with forcep or vacuum extractor, mom was induced. Um, and the baby was taken through a emergency C-section or what have you, and it indicates to them that most likely their children are subluxated. And those are the great questions that we want to ask. Uh, you know, getting traumas over the period of a few minutes and so forth, get, don't get me wrong, those are great questions as well, but a more powerful question in growing lifetime family wellness is asking them questions about their childbirth, knowing how many children they have, Asking them when you ask that question, when you ask that question, I'm sorry, were their children born with forcep or, or was a mother induced or what have you? I mean, you can go that far if you're, you know, the more comfortable you get with that type of dialogue with a patient or a new practice member, the easier it is to ask those questions, the easier it is to put importance in on those questions. Um, you want to have information around the office that has uh, pictures of children and pictures of families and scientific articles on why children need to be adjusted. You want to have a room where children can wait to get their adjustment. A pediatric adjusting bench is phenomenal uh, to have kids adjusted. You'll find that they'll climb on that all the time. I and mean, there's so many different ways to bring children and, and families in. You know, so often we get hung up on new patient, new patient, new patient, when you forget that all of the people that are coming in have children in their family. They have grandchildren. They have cousins and nieces and 
and nephews and their own children that can grow an enormous family practice. And I, and I talk about this a lot, but the more individuals of any family that you have coming in, the more likely that person will stay and they're more best in your practice. So when you go into practices that are high volume, when you go into practices that see families, you're going to see that the same people that were there last year and the year before and the year before that are still there and you start working on the children of those children, which is what I've had the honor to do after 20 years of practice. Uh, a couple of announcements. Uh, we are going to be speaking at um, California at, the, at the, the DCS, Billy DeMoss's office. Brad Glowacki is going to be there. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. We're going to do practice management, philosophy night. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, some great ideas on growing your practice, serving more people, and increasing your certainty. That's going to be on the 17th and 18th. That's the birthday of uh, chiropractic. The following weekend, we're going to be at uh, LaGuardia Airport uh, for a chiropractic event. It's going to be in New York City. Um, in November, we're going to be in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we are going to have a speaker, I, I forgot to mention, we're going to have a speaker, Matt McCoy uh, from the uh, uh, Journal of Vertebral Subluxation Research. He's going to be speaking in New York at, La, at the LaGuardia Airport. Uh, we're going to have Tom Culleton in Orlando, uh, who is a uh, neurologist, uh, uh, and is going to talk about functional neurology, subluxation based, unbelievable stuff. We're going to be in Vegas. Cal Jam, I'm going to be speaking at Cal Jam in February. 2011. If you haven't signed up for CalJam already, you're making a huge mistake. Um, I think it's $2.99 early bird special. It's ridiculously inexpensive. You bring your staff, bring uh, other family members. They don't have to be uh, uh, employees or staff members or even other chiropractors. We want to fill that conference hall. Billy DeMoss's vision is to fill that with over 3,000 people in Los Angeles, uh, Orange County. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up. I hope I see you at all those events. Uh, certainly serve more people, serve more families, work on children. Hopefully this helped out today, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks a lot. My best friend gave me the best advice. He said each day's a gift and not a given right. Leave no stone.